actually we're using page map sketch right here and I am using scraps from my stash and I can't tell you what collection they came from I apologize all right my base paper is cut um, six inches wide eight inches long I'm placing um, a strip kind of in the middle it's not exactly in the middle and I'm going to take another piece of paper that came from a six by six pad and it has already little squares that have fun little sayings and I'm going to cut those out and place them above and below that strip of paper and my photograph is going to go right in the middle and the photograph is of me trying out my freshman year in high school for volleyball. Never played it before, but school had already been in session and we were playing volleyball just as part of PE class. And my coach said, wow, you're good. You need to try out because I always played softball. And I in tend to play, continue to play softball while I was in high school. So I tried out and to my surprise, surprise, I was very good, just have to say. And so um, the coach wanted me on the varsity team, but as a freshman, you cannot be on the varsity team. But my sophomore year and junior year, I was on the varsity team. I didn't play my senior year because I graduated early and was off to college on my senior year. Would have been my senior year. All right, so now back to the layout. And this photograph was taken in 1974. It is the original, I did not alter it. And uh, of course, back then we didn't have digital cameras or maybe we did, but anyway, my parents didn't own one. And my mom happened to snap this photograph and it was developed in black and white. All right, so here you see me go through the six by six. There were two sheets that were six by six with these little squares on there. And let me see what size those squares are. They're about an inch, inch and a quarter. And like I said, I place them on the top and the bottom and I just pick out words that I think go with this layout and the colors. So at the top it says, oh, well, I still have to, you're gonna watch me rearrange them. I will tell you what it says on the top and the end. All right, I place a tag over to the right and I'm gonna layer on that tag. I have this acetate bow then I'm going to have a die cut that says 100% original. I'll have another die cut that says smile. Right now I'm putting these die cut feathers there. And then I will put journaling on the top. And I will also add some Heidi Swap splatters in teal and in sweet cherry where I do my journaling at the top. I get some washi tape out just to frame out those little blocks of squares. And so it's just a striped with clear in the middle and black, almost a navy. It might be navy, it's so, but it's so dark it looks like black. And then I will take another washi tape at the bottom that is like a photo strip and place that on the bottom. And it just kind of frames that whole section in. And my journaling is gonna be just like I said, um, this was a photograph taken at volleyball tryouts my freshman year. All right, the idea of stretch your sketch, if this is the first time that you're visiting, is that we take that sketch and we can create anything except for a single 12 by 12 layout. And I am working in this composite journal book and it is a photograph, one photograph, a year something to pertaining to my life and I'm hoping that this will get completed in the next month or two and then I will do a layout share and it will probably go fairly quickly because there are about 50 pages to cover but it has been a fun project that I started almost a year ago and that's why I'm anxious to get this done um, 
but I just do it on the side and I normally use it for a stretch the sketch. All right, be sure to follow the other ladies that are participating this month in this stretch the sketch hop. I will have their links listed below. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit the bell button so you'll receive notification when we post once a month, which is 90% of the time, the third Sunday of the month. All right, you see that, back to my layout, you see that I added sequence. I thought that's what I wanted, but I didn't like that, and I moved that away. And the washi tape in the upper right-hand corner that says hello gets moved to the left, but I'm gonna journal first to make sure that I want to move that little bit of washi tape in the upper right-hand corner to the upper left-hand corner. That's the correct way that it should have been stated. And then you see I'm just penciling out my lines, and then there's my journaling. And my layout is complete. I have a couple of still shots at the end. And then I will glue this whole six by eight paper into my little composite journal about my life, basically. All right, again, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you all. Please be sure to share our channel with your family, friends, coworkers that like to scrapbook in any size, any manner, because we're here to inspire you to scrapbook those memories and your friends. And please be sure that you subscribe and have your friends subscribe to all of our channels. All right, again, please be sure to follow the other ladies links listed below. I'm as, as anxious as you to see what they've created because I have no idea. All right, we'll see you next month. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, I am posting two and three times a week. So please come back. Please subscribe and hit that bell button. All right, bye.